Joe was switching. Did it? Yes. I called them on the lady's computer because someone spilled coffee. Oh, yeah. And the guy says, well, what? And I said, well, I'm not the person that bought it. Her grandmother bought it. Here's the deal. He goes, I go, here's the number. He goes, all right. He goes, all right. In two or three days, you'll be getting a box. Put it in the box. Take it that X mail. It's self paid and then we'll have a turnaround time is five days, and the turnaround time is five days, and they fixed it. And it's like, is that the one off uh, from Costco? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was unbelievable. They'll warranty anybody. If you buy a TV from someone else, they'll still sell you the warranty. All right, ready? Yep. Stand up with the pledge of allegiance, please. Should we get on our knees? No, <laughs> we're starting sure out. No. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of the United States, States, States of America, America. and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God. God. Individual with liberty and justice for all. And would anybody like to do the invocation? And I did call this meeting to order before the Pledge of Allegiance. I said that. Yeah. Okay. Brenda, roll call Brenda? Yes. Jerry Harris let us know he wasn't going to be here. Hank Mass texted me and said he wouldn't be here tonight. Robert McGee is here. Bill Starks? Here. Steve Rhodes? Here. Thank you. First order of business would be approved September 9th, 2016's minutes. I make a motion to be approved. And then I get a second. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion passed. Thank you. Um, Bill, I'll turn it over to you for a. Uh, we wrote 16 checks for a total of $5,752.77. We got that $49 cleanup on that uh, uh, charge account straightened out. Uh, if I can get permission, I'd like to transfer another approximately nine to ten thousand dollars back into the checking account from the uh, money market account. We have a balance of two hundred and ten thousand six dollars and fifteen cents in the money market account. I'd like to have approval to have the uh, sign and bill the check. I will entertain a motion to pay. Does anybody have any questions on the bills? Before we we had a lot of. I've got so all the, the checks big, over here for you, Steve. Yeah. The big money was uh, uh, the communications. We paid our annual 1220. That's what we paid the county for our 911 service. Um, yeah, that's a big number. But there's nothing you can do. Yeah, the rest of it, uh, I'm still continuing to buy uh, uh, the BFA stuff. I have to have that purchased by December 1st. So we're just about there, but I made the last week. What do we get from Hughes Fire? Do they service? Uh, that was the pump test for the trucks. Oh, okay. So they're 311 a piece. Umpqua Valley Fire was the annual uh, fire extinguisher. Okay, I have a question. Check 2566 and check 2577 are for the same exact amounts of the same exact people. Bond Tree Medical got paid twice. Was there? Was uh, that? That's a, that? I'm going to have to check it, that up on that because that's not exact. That shouldn't be right. Uh, the one check should have been for you. The one check was the uh, the gold or the other one. Oh, I got so good. You got them there? I, I got the gold. That right now. Okay. So we might have double paid? Well, we got two receipts in there, two bills in there. Yeah, there were two bills mm -hmm. for the balance I wonder if one came towards the end of one month and then they saw the other. one of them right here. That one was for 300 This okay. is for 275 dollars right. Well, there's one of the bills right there. I have one here for uh, okay, 275 with medical aid, AED pads. Life pack. Life pack CR plus DFib batteries and one adult electrode set. Okay, so let's look at, uh, so that's 2577. 2566. 2577 out and put it because we can always do another envelope. 
I can tell you what happens with that. Uh, they bill us, they send us the invoice, and then usually they bill us again before this meeting. And they usually catch them. So I'm not sure how it got back in the envelope. But what happened, what happened before is we ended up with uh, don't worry about it. Not any credit. credit. We just use it the next time you bought. But, um, yeah. Well, I stick them. I stick them. That's a good question, Robert. Mr. Chair, President. <laughs> I just want to just, I like Which one do you want to? Get rid of 2577. I wrote void across my sheet just so we know. So that was uh, changed on this figure. That's correct. So it's now going to be 5476. 79. So what do I do to this? Just write void across it and put a staple in, into your monthly and we'll, we'll, bills. And I'll uh, give it to, uh, and then we'll send a copy down to Tristan and she can change it. So you want this to go with, with these here then? Yes. Right, boy. I'll do it. Yeah. You can just write white across the bill because then it cancels it in. I'll sit down there. Right, white across the bill. Here's these. I'll include the bill with it. Here's these two checks there. Oh, that's for UPSs too. Okay. So look, this is over 10,000. Are we over 10,000 now? Yeah, 10,160. Okay. So I, I can put 5,000 in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. We removed check 2577. We're going to have avoided out and go to the accountant so we can just fix our paperwork. Right. So I will entertain a motion to pay the bills for September. I move that we pay the bills for September minus check 2677. 2577. 2577. And what was the other thing we did? That was it. Add 5000 to the. Oh, add 5000 to the. All in favor? Aye. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Jerry's not here, but he did give me his communication report, so I'll read it for him. Uh, the website usage from September 1st to October 1, the number of unique uh, visitors decreased from 311 to 301, and the numbers of visitors decreased from 450 to 395. The number of pages accessed decreased from 988 to 662. Our YouTube channel increased to a total of 14 subscribers. Uh, updates, posted, approved documents, Blotter calls, treasurer's report, chief's reports, videos, and current fire danger level. Uh, posted about new fire prevention week, proposed changes, if anybody has any. Add link to web page of American Red Cross for requesting special smoke alarms for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. Uh, consider adding one or more link that were received to safety page request for suggestions. Idea for, ideas for improving website should be sent to the communication officer or the web manager. And I'm gonna say this since we're rolling on camera in case anybody watches the videos, they can also write our communication managers if the public has anything they'd like to see on there that has to do with safety. Um, receive information from SDA, oh I'm sorry, received updates from DFPA on fire danger levels, public fire restrictions and National Fire Prevention Week. Received information from SDAO about award nomination. Communications uh, with fire department. A list of August blotter calls and reports were received from the chief. Received from the chief information about special smoke alarms for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. Communications with community. Posted public notice for September's board meeting on the website and at the fire station. Communication with private companies and agencies. Received link to a few informational sites from a private health information service. Sent replies saying we will consider them for our website safety page. District operations manuals, none at this time. Communication and equipment, updated software on the district. Um, with that in Jerry's, uh, you wanted me to discuss it with the board. The SDAO has a special awards program. And what he would like to do is he would like to get the board's approval to enter Steve's name into this for all the hard work he does to keep the department going. I make a motion that we let Jerry go in. Do it. Okay, good go. Jerry pulled us out. Go ahead and send it in in a second. Yeah, I'll take it. And I will gladly 30. Congratulations, Steve. We'll see well, how I you do it. Um, he contacted me earlier, so I got the information that he would need for that. I'll, I'll meet with him. I'll get to him so we got at least uh, one week and a half until it's finished. Yeah, so. and if you, uh, yeah, it was extended to the uh, February 17th, October 20th. 
Nomination source must be received by uh, October 20th. Okay. That's an email. Yeah. I want to say about, uh, just to wrap that up, uh, about the smoke alarms for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. Mm -hmm. It's an American Red Cross program. They won't, it doesn't go through our fire department, but we had a phone number, and I believe you put that on the website, that anybody in the community can call that, and they'll it's somehow fund it with a grant or something. It's outside of our department, but it's a, it's a service available to people. So. Do they just send these people to fire station? I think, I, I'm not sure that how the whole program works. All I know is that they can, they can get them, it's, a, it's by a grant, and uh, I believe it goes by vibration and flashing lights and everything else instead of the piercing sound. So, um, anyway, it's available. That, that would be cool. I mean, it'd be cool too if the, if the people are really older, I'd donate my time to help them hang them up. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm going to go on a limb and say there's no public comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn it over to Steve on a Chiefs report. Okay. I've been doing a lot of this. Thank you. I'm going to very short. I want to also give you, uh, I did a uh, kind of comparison uh, bid thing on one of the uh, BFA grant items because it was fairly large. Thing, so just to show you guys the difference. It's a, it was one that was approved in our budget and through BFA, but uh, anyway. Okay, so for instance, and I'll get this stuff to Jerry, uh, for September we had 12 total calls, seven medical, two structure fires, and three natural cover. Uh, the fire danger has gone down as low as everybody knows. All use restrictions are off. Permits are required if you're going to do a slash burn, some heavy slash. For example, the guy up here on the top of the hill at Colonial, he needs a permit when he burns. Does, how do they know that? They basically get phone calls and stuff. And but so you know, the only way they're going to know is if something happens, then they come out and they're going to sign them. <laughs> and uh, I, I will say that uh, one of our fires here uh, two months ago re did result in somebody getting signed, and that went to court. We were asked to participate in the court thing. At the last minute, we didn't have to testify. And he was convicted of uh, burning out there in the field. And, I think the first is this one out here on Orchard Road? Yeah. So the firefighter got hurt? Yeah. And so the guy, uh, the first fine for it is $110, then it goes to $500, then it goes to, uh, it can eventually end up at $10,000. So, wow. Um, so the DA and the court and the judge uh, backed us and backed the FPA. So. Uh, and I, I just wanted to remind everybody of, with this low, everybody's taken off with their brush piles and everything. And we, the first day that it was open, we had six responses here. Every fire that got lit got out of control. Yeah. The wind kicked up and it blew across town. And I just want to remind everybody that um, if it leaves your property or damages somebody else's property, you're responsible. You're liable. And that's uh, part of the ORS 478. So just please be careful. Now here, the weather's changing again. It's probably over for this year, but uh, it, it went crazy there for a couple of days. Uh, our structure responses were uh, Mutual aid and 10 mile goes too. We didn't have any in our area. So. Our, our training, our firefighter one class is continuing. The UCC trailer is supposed to be here in the first of the month. It's been delayed for a few weeks, but it'll get here this month. Uh, we'll have it for probably two months. Uh, we've been continuing our firefighter one training, search and rescue, host streams and practices, fire behavior, and then uh, we did a rope rescue and tour and review of that skills. The injured firefighter uh, which has been released back to full duty and that process is all completed. Uh, we're doing the fire prevention training again for the local schools. We're doing them this week. We're going to be doing one this morning, or tomorrow morning here. Uh, uh, just for information, one volunteer and one explorer were involved in the 9-11 flag program in, in, se in uh, September of the uh, We got a good TV, or we got a good uh, newspaper coverage of that one. Um, the explorers are continuing to work towards their firefighter one certification. We had one disciplinary action that was pending and it was going to be taken care of today and I got the phone call today so it's off. Uh, one of our explorers was accused of doing something in this high school and we, uh, we, this actually brought up a pretty good discussion we had with the explorers that we're, if their <coughs> school decides that they're doing some kind of disciplinary action, whether it's suspension, expulsion or whatever, the same thing's going to happen here. And, uh, so he, it was pending investigation after review and cameras and everything else at school, and he wasn't involved. So 
it's that's all over. But but then they all learn. I think they all learn that we're um, first of all they're representing our department as explorers and everything else. So it's time to um, man up and or woman up and um, do the right thing. And uh, so, so whatever he was doing at school, what he wasn't doing. He ended up that he was he'd been accused by a couple people and that wasn't true when they went to the cameras. So so that that issue's uh, new now. I moved. Uh, equipment, the new 1080 yard salesman went back to the factory and says they were on schedule. They originally said it was going to be 270 days, and we're at about day 250 right now. So uh, they're saying they're going to deliver in the next three weeks. Uh, we'll see if that's true or not. Um, th that's their contracted uh, delivery date. Now, originally they said that they didn't get the chassis for a couple months later. Um, he assures me that they're going to be able to complete them. They're working on the body right now, they just gotta get it on the unit. And it's gonna be white, right? Yeah. Okay. It's gonna look like it right was. Uh, the annual pump tests were completed and the bills are worth we paid for that in this month's finances. We didn't have any problems with that. We do have uh, the drain valve on 1031 needs a rebuild kit. It's not a, something that keeps it from pumping. But during the test they have to drain the uh, pump totally and then uh, do the drafting test from an empty pump. So um, I'm gonna explain uh, Explore that. I think they said it's about 75 dollars for the, the little ballast down there. Um, inventory. We, I've been continuing the VFA equipment purchase. We're getting there. We're just about done. Uh, I think I have four more things to buy. A couple of boots, uh, a couple of uh, spanner type wrenches, that kind of stuff. Nothing major. And the, and the PPE, the two sets of turnouts will be uh, uh, cascades coming out to measure people this uh, month and then we'll be ordering that. Um, we got in uh, rain, we had budgeted rain gear last year. I just got it in the uh, day before yesterday. So we'll get that out this week. And my plan is we got a variety of sizes and we're gonna set them out here on hooks as, as they come through on way going calls. If it's raining outside, they can pick up the rain gear in the, the right size and wear it. It's all reflective and everything meets all the uh, ANC and all the different requirements. Um, our four gas monitor that we have, we lost an oxygen sensor on it. Um, so I uh, just got that in the mail today, so we'll be fixing that. They usually last about three years, and this one lasted about five. And then it's about 150 bucks to replace them for the monitor. Um, got some name tags for crew members, PPE boots, the VFA grant. One of our SCBA masks was damaged during the search and rescue drill we had. We got the part for that and fix that. Uh, and the VFA, we have a pump, a portable pump for on the VFA grants. It was about, it was approved at thirty-two hundred dollars, and um, I so I did a uh, a bid, whatever comparison. And they have one on sale right now for twenty-three ninety-five. So it's about a, almost a nine hundred dollar savings with free shipping. So um, I. Um, jumped on that one, so that will be the next month. And that was one of the last things, and, and that's going to uh, really make a positive for the v, the whole VFA grant, because any money that we have left over, the option is is either, uh, for example, at nine forty five, four hundred fifty dollars of that would be a match from us, so we won't have to match that if we don't want to, or VFA can approve for us just for the original approved amount of sixteen thousand nine hundred. They can we can buy more stuff under that limit. So uh, if, if we need more stuff, we'll, I'll try to do that. If not, we'll just not fill out the whole grant. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's just money that we'll be spending. Uh, anyway, yeah, the original quotes I got on that was $3,300 back when we started. So that was a, it just happened that they were on sale. So. Uh, facility, we constructed additional uh, PPE hanging area for the explorers and the firefighters back behind 1080 here. And uh, we're going to keep on doing that so we can get all the stuff that's laying around loose upstairs hung up. And then we purchased some storage cabinets for upstairs uh, as budgeted. We're going to have all the boxes of loose fire prevention stuff and stuff in there. So that's uh, working towards what you were asking me to do was clean that up. And uh, once we have all that stuff up on the ground, we're, we're going to uh, go through the stuff that needs to be surplus. But it, it's, kind of, it's looking better already. Um, the counting, we did the in lieu audit got um, posted or got sent in, and the payment.
famous man who was here. I went online the other day, and it's not posted yet on the Secretary of State's website, but we have uh, confirmation that it was received and paid for and everything. So I don't know how long it takes them to prove it. Uh, the budget paperwork got to the county in the first week of September. Uh, I got some correspondence today from uh, uh, Wilson Harrogood and SDIS SDO about liability insurance for next year. Uh, we just have to go through it again and uh, uh, return the return it by November 11th so we can base our rates on that. Uh, worked on uh, with F SDIS on uh, Bob's Wilkins comp case and that's all over with now. Uh, the whistleblower policy, Jerry wanted to talk about that. I saw that a little bit on the emails. And uh, I went and looked at the sample one that they have, and, and we do have to do it. It's a state law and federal law. And I've been, uh, I kind of went through and modified it. I, I'm not sure who put it together. It looked like it was a cut and paste job or something. So um, to more fit us, and I was going to discuss this with Jerry, and then maybe in the, I'm sure this will have to go over in a couple months to do a policy change. So. Is there a time frame on when it needs to be in their policy? No, I don't believe it is. Um, I'll have to go back and look at that memo. I think that I, I can't remember when it was supposed to be adopted by, or maybe it's for 2017 or something. I don't believe we're in a rush to do that, but, but we should do it. The policy of the sample I got is pretty good. It just had some uh, errors and stuff. And, and uh, we changed some of the terminology to match our board. Um, miscellaneous, the best practices is due November 1st. I, I know you guys have that thing. Did you guys send that in? The, uh, that should be the last one, yes. Okay, so when we're done with that, we'll still get a 10% discount. The FEMA grant, after uh, the FEMA sent out all their uh, requirements and stuff for this year, and we were talking about going for a new engine and the, uh, and the SCBAs, it ended up that uh, both of those things by the manufacturing date, they're a year early, so I can't apply for them. So uh, we're going to defer that, and I believe in the budget we deferred that to 2017 18. And uh, so we'll work on that this year to do that. And then I, I'm trying to, I want to explore also, we've talked more and more about Florida Valley, what would you do up there to reduce the fire uh, rating up there? And I know uh, Glide a few years back got. Did the, temper, the shelter that's out there by the dump now. And that was the whole idea of that was they worked from Glide to town to reduce rates. And they've got some grants and stuff to build that building and then they put something in it. So uh, I, uh, as a kind of a master plan for this year, I think I want to uh, go for that. And then the next year about this time, but this, aside from the assistance of firefighter grants, they also have fire prevention grants and everything else that they go into that area of uh, buildings and everything else and fire I'll work on that this year and meet with them first of all. What does it have to? What does it? Contain? It's going to have to be a station with a with an engine in it. So uh, we can we'll put ten thousand gallons of gas. I mean water. The yeah, water. That's the water. Thing. Yeah. We have to uh, provide five thousand gallons of water on our initial response. So we can do that with our units. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys just have to have a, a station within five land miles, basically five miles of travel, and our five miles ends just about a half mile past the corner of Florida Valley and uh, uh, Coos Bay Wagon Road. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I still, I don't believe that, well, we've talked about that water thing before, and I don't believe that that water thing is going to do it. And I'll make sure with ISO, but uh, um, it's going to have, so we could put 1030, we could put our second engine up there mm -hmm. and, and have a station for it. So if we can get some kind of granting, or just figure out, I, I just want to figure out what it's going to cost in there, what's going to cost to get an acre of land or half acre of land or whatever, or a long term lease on somebody else's property. And that yeah. kind of stuff. That'd be the way to do it. And now that you guys would all realize uh, savings of money. Because right All now, the people that live in the area would reap the reward. Right. Yeah. And, you know, that part of the valley right now, you guys are paying the same, our district's paying the same taxes as everybody else. So you're paying more insurance. Anyway, uh, that, that was. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go, for, go towards this year. Um, there was some correspondence, board mail. I, I keep a file in there for you guys, but basically it was the uh, the uh, Secretary of State municipal filings, confirmation that we sent our, our audit in, confirmation that we paid for it. 
Um, there's a copy of the audit. I'm going to uh, email this to Jerry so that uh, he gets on the website. Uh, our bank statements come every month. We'll see. I think Bill and uh, Tristan sees those. So those go into our monthly files if you guys ever want to look at them. They, they look just like what uh, Bill said they did. There's a fire service conference coming up for uh, board members. We have a member with Oregon Safety and Health section because we are, we're members of SDA, so we, it's usually $25 a year. It gives us some uh, stuff on uh, OSHA law and all that kind of stuff. So I've been getting those mails, that mail now, the correspondence from them. And it's a complimentary uh, membership through SDA for this uh, statewide safety organization. Uh, let's see, certificate that we completed our ethics training. And that's about, that's it, that's all that's needed here. We'll probably file uh, the original showing of uh, President Obriga as a registered agent for the audits and stuff is in here. So. We need to put that probably in the files somewhere more important. So are you interested in going to this? Uh, and is there a oh, there is a cost back there? Yeah, I haven't uh, uh, that one much. It's pretty soon, I mean it's the 27th to 20th. Maybe next year it might be something that we should look into. Um, that's a good idea. And so whatever the cost factors are, we can try to budget those into next yeah. year or something. There's a couple of things that I should probably attend each year. Oregon Fire Chief staying, or also, or also volunteer, uh, has a big thing every year too. But I think we talked about that before. That if you do go, you do get compensated for mileage and everything. So that actually looks pretty good. I uh, that's about it for this this talk. We're uh, we're just waiting for that training trailer to come in. We'll wait for the uh, new unit to come in as soon as I hear from it. It's supposed to get delivered to Spokane, and I go up there. They're going to do some final work there, and we go up there and inspect it. So. And then would you drive it back to the okay? Well, hopefully they'll deliver it here. Mm -hmm. But um, they told me if, if they do, I'll uh, use it. They but if, if they don't, they will drive it back. But that's all I have. And this cost comparison for a pump? Yeah, that, I just wanted to show you the differences in, in the pumps. Oh, this is that one. Oh, okay. The one from, uh, is the yellow work just as good as the Darley? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's all the same engine and pump, basically. Darley makes their own pump. Okay. So we went with Phil Fire because that one had no uh, the the shipping on it was over two hundred three hundred dollars on everybody else and they had uh, they had a free shipping right now. So. so our matching part of that is uh, about eleven hundred dollars. On the VMA grid, that's a floating pump that allows us we can put it into any water source, the creek. Any pond or anything more than four inches deep, and we can uh, it goes up to 400 gallons per minute. It weighs about 120 pounds to two people. So that's not bad at all, yeah. So, and, uh, I don't know, I think it's something that you go value around here. So, you know, Bill's got water in his place, has he? Yeah, you got a pond? Yeah, oh, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, okay. One time I measured it out, they said I could pump 400 gallons a minute for several hours at one time. It was Twenty odd feet deep, and it was uh, sixty by one hundred and sixty feet. It's a big freaking pump, yeah. Man. I want it bigger though. Oh, come on, <laughs> and use it for training, man. Yeah. Water rescue. Yeah. Right. Right. Thank you, Steve. Uh, any old business? We're good. New business. We already went over the nominee. Uh, Steve went over the upstairs. Thanksgiving and Christmas. What do you need from us, everybody? Oh, I uh, uh, we talked about that with our association last week that. The explorers are going to do a can, like a can drive, recycling type drive, and then uh, we're going to place uh, cans in the uh, uh, store, and we're going to try to hit uh, co-op and some of the local places too, or else a fire boot, uh, identifying what it causes. And we have we have money in our association from some of the stuff we've done right now that we could do a family, and uh, we've already approached a. The principal oriole over at the school to provide us with a family. So that's as far as we are right now. And they're going to get the, uh, the 
explore. We tasked the explorers with setting up the, the can drive and stuff, so I expect to see something here in the next couple of weeks. Do you know that at Sherm's you can purchase bags for 67 cents? Is that right? So you don't have to put one can in at a time? You lose a little money, but you got to realize your time's money. Oh, yeah. So you can fill the bags up and you get 12 bucks for every bag. You just take it in there and they've got a spec sheet. And you just take them the bags and they pay you 12 bucks. Yeah, I've seen the, the Coke, people do that. Coke and Pepsi used to do it in there. You could go to the distributors and get it as a clear bag and it's got a line on it. And that's what we did for the school. And then they discontinued it. Yeah, they do it at Sherm's and it's like a 16 ounce or, or 20 ounce or smaller water bottles. So when you buy the bags, they'll give you a form that says what they take back. Uh, 20 ounces or smaller water bottles is $12 and some change or something like that. And then cans are like 20 bucks for oh, the yeah, big bag. Yeah. Yeah, because then you're not wasting all that time to put one in at a time. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, and they've, and they've already, uh, the Looking Glass Church and the uh, West Side Christian, uh, some of our firefighters go to, both of them are going to do the same thing as far as food this year. So we don't really have to purchase food. Do you want me to ask our church, yeah. our church and see if they'll do it? Which one is that? Uh, Redeemers. Redeemers? If, if they want to get in on it, I, I'll... Uh, Lindsay is kind of coordinating that between everybody, but they want to be. All, all we did uh, last year, I, they ended up with two turkeys, one for the meal, one for the freezer, and we, we got all kinds of food. What is it, like a 55 gallon drum or something, you put your canned foods in? Or? Well, we were just, uh, rather than do that, we were identifying what, we, what a meal would be for Thanksgiving. And oh, then, I see. And then they, uh, uh, anything, they had a whole list of type of supplies for kids and all stuff. Yeah. I mean, they arranged to diapers and everything else. And, uh, and we ended up with uh, a large amount that was hard to transport. Do you think some, maybe it'd be better to maybe have two families if we have that much product? Yeah, we uh, um, we had more money to deal with last year. We didn't, our, the uh, May thing this year, because of the weather, we didn't get as much money to our food and our ice cream sales and stuff. So we, but we have one, enough for one good family. So oh, yeah. Excuse me. I'll do tomorrow. I'll put in a donation request from Costco for it. Okay. Because they give you a fifty dollars cash card, and then you yeah, can purchase it up for fifty okay. bucks for the family and whatever. Okay. Cool. Uh, so um, this is uh, October. Yeah. So we have to have that done. Then you go on the next one. So Correct. I something. Correct. Yeah. I'll do it tomorrow just so that we stay ahead of the curve. Yeah. All right. President report. I have nothing because I usually say it as I go. Anybody from the board? Anything to say? We're good. No board member, no public comments. Next meeting is November 11th. Um, so November 11th, I want to thank everybody for coming, and Steve, thank you. And then get with me and Jerry if you have any questions on the awards program, because if you need anything from me. Yeah, they sent me this evening, so what I did was, uh, I, I just got any information I needed to fill out the blank, so I'm okay. just to you. Bill, anything you need? Nope. Uh, Brenda? Nope. All right. Well, that, I will make a motion. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. I move that we adjourn the meeting at 735. Thank you. Thank you.